Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Bullet Motorsports. Right next to me we have a 1956 Chevrolet Bel Air. This is a full-on Pro Touring real deal machine. Over $100,000 has been invested in the chassis, the bodywork, the engine, and all the bright work you're going to see today. I'm going to start off with the front and I want to go over all the chrome, the exceptional pinstriping. Come close and take a look at it. Everything has been replaced on this car uh, from the drivetrain to the body. I'm going to open up the hood right now, take a look at how nice this is. All the chrome is showing excellent, and then this is the best part, you ready? Fuel injected 454 fully built with a swirl pot and a pro charger. This thing is an animal, and the best part is you've got every available option, so you still have power brakes and ice cold AC. You can drive down the road easily at 80 miles an hour because it's a 700, it has a 700 R4 with an input shaft that's billet so it can hold that power. You've got an aluminum radiator, there's your AC condenser, and everything is clean underneath here. Does not play well with others. You've got all your, uh, your typical stickers and then midlife crisis and process. These are stickers so they can come off, but I think it really adds to the effect of this car. I'm gonna go ahead and close it. Body lines, extremely straight. All the chrome and bright work, super nice. This is a nine out of 10 easily. You got yourself a set of rally wheels that have been painted white. Uh, all the bumpers look great. You've got your little bullet caps here. That's a nice accent. And then take a look at the gaps on both sides. When we walk to the other side, look at how the gap is. It's perfect. Roof line is extremely nice as well. All of your, uh, your drain rails are in excellent shape. You feel no waviness, no bondo in them. I'm going to go ahead and open up this door. While I do that, I want you to pan to the rear and come in. So the interior has been completely redone with tweed and leather. This is a power seat, so it goes back and forth easily. Um, it has the Omega instrument clusters. Your AC controls and radio are right in front of you and your center console. You've got an aftermarket stereo with four speakers that sound unbelievable. You've got a wooden steering wheel. This is real wood. And then the dash has been customized completely. If we go to the rear of it, I want you to take note of how nice the headliner is and all the colorful accents that have been done. Let's go ahead and go to the rear and I'm gonna open up the trunk for you. It's got a special surprise in there. All the glass is in great shape too. Pinstriping throughout, so all the edges have pinstriping. All new tail lights and bezels. All the metal is solid, no rust. You ready for the surprise? It's got the Mean Man cat. So that covers your battery terminal. You've got a kill switch there. Uh, this is set up to go fast, so it has a four link underneath, and I'm going to show you that shortly. Let's keep on going around. Once again, this quarter panel is in excellent shape. Wider rallies in the rear with your exhaust coming out of both sides. It does not rubber touch. Open up this door. Everything has been replaced. Minor imperfection on the striker, but that's just normal from hitting that striker right there. You got your Fisher panels, beautiful dash. And then we were talking about that fitment on the fender. I'm gonna go, oh, there's a low car shifter too that you're looking at right now. Look at the body lines, straight as well. Just a real deal car. Let's go ahead and throw this thing in the air and take a look at the underneath. We are underneath the 56 Bel Air. Right here I've got all the paperwork for, well, most of the paperwork for the rebuild. It has a Jim Meyer chassis. So that's a $17,000 chassis, not including the cradle for your suspension. If you look at it, it's all, uh, it's all boxed in. You've got coilovers on all four corners, disc brakes on all four corners. You can see your transmission cooler. You've got a brand new replated bumper here as well. Um, power steering, big 454 under here with, there is no expense spared in this car. Uh, you've got a super expensive starter right there. That's probably 400 bucks. Uh, tubular control arms that go to your coilovers. Uh, everything is stainless braid and uh, all new bushings, obviously. 
When we keep walking to the back, you're gonna see a 700 R4, so you've got a really nice overdrive for the highway. This was recently rebuilt at Gulf Coast Transmissions. They put a hardened input shaft in there so you can, it would hold the power. You, got, you could see your, two, your, your long tube header is rolling all the way to the back, and then it rolls out to a two and a half inch exhaust through a set of Flowmaster exhausts, and they dump out both sides. You can follow the chassis, it's all powder coated, all the wiring is professional. Um, you've got yourself a four link here, and then it has a pan hard bar, and that is mated to a Ford nine inch rear end with a billet, billet cap, disc brakes in the rear, uh, sway bar as well. This thing handles like it's on rails. I want you to come to the front, so I wanna, sh I wanna show you the ride height in the air. When you're looking at this, look at how it's sitting. This is how it sits when it's on the ground. And then when you look at the body lines, look at how nice those body lines are. So the body itself is solid, there's pinch welds, brand new tub underneath there. When, you, when you're looking for something that's gonna be turnkey, right here, this is it. Let's go for a ride. We're inside the Bel Air right now. I'm gonna go ahead and fire up this big motor. It's a 454. We've got all the cam specs. We've got everything that was gone through in that engine. It's pro-charged and fuel injected with a fast tech kit. So you've got a swirl pot that'll feed that thing with fuel at all times. Starts right up. You can hear it camming. You can hear the blower a little bit. Super responsive. Let's go for a test drive. Low car shifter. So we're in drive now. You've got yourself your easy rider, so you could swing it around corners. The suspension is awesome because it's a four link in the rear, so it, it hooks. This thing's nasty. What we'll do is we'll drive down the road normally and then I'll give it some gas and second gear so you can see how it is. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take it for a ride. I'm gonna drive normally until we get to that corner and then I'll give it some gas. We're gonna go over some bumps so you're gonna be able to see that this suspension really works well. Four link in the rear, coilovers on all four corners, disc brakes. This thing is unbelievable. We're gonna go over some bumps here and uh, you're not gonna hear a single noise. You can let go of the steering wheel, it goes straight. This is a one-off, or not a one-off custom frame, but it's a custom frame made specifically for this body. Big wide wheels in the back grip. So once you get those tires warmed up, it really does hook. I'm gonna take a left here, make sure there's no traffic coming and it will roll into second gear so you can feel how it is. I mean, if you pull up next to an exotic with this thing, you're gonna smoke it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get out there, let this car pass us and then I'll, uh, I'll give it, I'll roll into the throttle, it's too aggressive. Clear spin, it's unbelievable. I had to let off. <laughs> crazy so what I what I'll do is I'm gonna go ahead and slow down here braking right now I'm letting go we're stopping from 60 miles an hour no problems at all nice and even nice and even you ready unreal so much power look at all the smoke in the back <laughs> if you guys are looking for a real deal cruiser that has zero issues you can literally jump in this and drive it to california this is the car for you 954-363-2261 look at that labradoodle so you didn't hear the motor without my microphone on what i'm going to do is i'm going to start this up right now the blower. 